Hello world, Shelly here, and today I am super excited to show you the latest release from Science Serum. If you are not familiar with the brand, they're an independent brand that makes skincare products that I feel are quite innovative and quite effective. I did receive this in PR. This is not a sponsored video. It is the new Pro Series Tight full face system from Science Serum. Now, they did send this in PR, but if you've been around for a minute, you know I've been making videos about Science Serum products for over over two years at this point. The first year, just out of my pocket after I had seen the brand on Wayne Goss's channel and they had no idea who I was. And for the past year or so, I've been able to receive PR from them, but as always, this will be my fully concocted honest reviews from my own brain. I will take close-up photos for the follow-up video that I will do in a month or so, and you can be the judge. Just look at the pictures. So, all this time with tight eye and bright and tight and tight neck and tight lips, one of the most common things I hear is can I just put this all over my face or even all over my body? Now, I am still waiting for the version of this product that I can bathe in because I can use some tight everywhere. <laughs> but this one you can't bathe in yet. But Science Serum has been listening and paying attention. And that question of can I take my tight eye and put it on my forehead lines? Or, for example, the way I use tight lips. I use it on my upper lip, but I also take it along all my smile lines and the wrinkles around my mouth. So the concept is brilliant and the products work so well that I think this was a natural evolution of their product line. So what this is, is a four week system and you get, as I drop it, you get Self-care starts here. There are four pods of serum and then a mask applicator brush. It's similar to a face mask. And if you look at the serum pods, you might think this looks familiar. It looks a whole lot like the gel that is tight eye, bright and tight, tight lips, tight neck. It looks just like it, but it's in a little pot. So they recommend that you use this product once to twice per week. I'm going to estimate that once a week is going to be fine. It retails for $85. So if you were to use this once a week, that's $85 a month. Now that's a very expensive ongoing routine, but I suspect that this is the kind of product that with four treatments, you're gonna have a really good baseline at which point you can continue to focus on your trouble spots if you have any and leave this to a more seasonal kind of approach. I do have a promo code with Science Serum. Code Shelly will get you 20% off. It's not, a, I don't get paid from it. It's not an affiliate link. It is just a code that gets you a discount. So that would bring the total for the whole package to $68. So a little bit more reasonable. I also recommend that you sign up for their email newsletter because even though 20% off is great, they very, very regularly have flash sales and send out emails where you'll get 25% off, 30% off, just better discounts than the 20%. So sign up for their email list and then you'll be able to take advantage of those. So what you get, four of the little gel pods and a science serum mask applicator and it's just one of those like silicone tipped mask scooper things what I would like to do before I apply this is I want to go through the ingredients because you know geek out of water that is what I do I'm a, I'm a nerd for the ingredients so this pro series science serum is a cruelty free brand it is fragrance free paraben free non-toxic made in the US now, let me just read their description. By reducing fine lines, discoloration, and minimizing pores, the skin is reinvigorated to look more firm and lifted, smoother, and evenly toned for a visibly younger appearance. Ultimately, see your skin reborn to a luminous, youthful glow. Let's go through the ingredients on this thing so that we can find out 
what in here is doing the work. The thing that really impresses me is that their ingredient lists are, they have no fillers. There's, there's no garbage in here. There's really nothing in here that doesn't have a purpose. So the first two ingredients in the Pro Series Tight are water and Piloximer. So Piloximer is like part of the base of the serum. It prevents oil and water separation in terms of the different ingredients that are in it but they don't specify which Piloximer it is in here and some of them in studies have shown to be effective for like wound repair so like fixing skin burns and things like that so that might not just be a base ingredient that might actually be one of the actives then there's a giant ever active 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 it's it's amazing until you get to the end and you've got some texture, one texture ingredient and a preservative. So next up, hyaluronic acid. You've heard of that a million times. I'm sure it is an ingredient that prevents moisture loss. It can hold a thousand times its weight in water. It's going to basically give you a little bit of antioxidant protection against environmental damage and good for decreasing wrinkle depth because your skin is plumped and hydrated. So lots of hyaluronic acid in there. Then we've got caffeine, which is also a soothing and antioxidant ingredient. Anytime you have these antioxidants, they help combat free radical damage, combat environmental damage from, you know, exposure to the sun and all of the bad things that we do to our air, pollution to our air, to our skin, pollution, things like that. Uh, you're also going to have caffeine helping to constrict uh, all the little tiny blood vessels. So you're going to decrease redness, the appearance of redness at the surface of your skin. Some of these I have to like pronounce slowly in my head. So the next one, xylitol glucoside <laughs> prevents moisture loss. Dry skin people, this one's here for you. Although this is for all skin types sensitive included. Then we have anhydroxylitol. This is a humectant, so you are going to absorb and retain moisture. And next up we have glycerin. You've probably seen that one all over the place. It's another humectant, very good ingredient for uh, hydration and establishing like a normal balance, a normal water balance to your skin. I will say I looked up all of these ingredients on a completely third party website. I used primarily the Paula's Choice uh, cosmetic ingredient list to come up with what they'd say it's good or an excellent ingredient and everything in this list is good or excellent. They're all great ingredients. So, and that's a third party saying that that's not science serum saying that. Then we have xylitol, hydrates, helps to strengthen the skin's barrier. Then we have HMC for decreasing dark circles under your eyes. Then there's a bunch of peptides, good stuff. Uh, peptides do, one of the things they can help with is signaling your body to make more collagen. And as we get older, our collagen production goes down. And then that's kind of where you get the look of like, uh, less plumpness, less firmness, less elasticity to the skin. So you want good collagen. So peptides are like, yo, hey body, make some more collagen. All right, I got to sound this one out. N-hydroxysuchinamide mm -hmm. softens and conditions the skin. Then we have chrysin or chrysin, not sure which way you say that one. Another skin conditioner that is also known to decrease dark circles under the eyes. We have some plankton extract, which binds moisture. We have stearth 20. It is derived from fatty alcohols. And you know, fatty alcohols are the good alcohols that you want in your skincare because they help as moisturizing ingredients. Uh, also serving as a stabilizer for the formula. So we're down into the texture ingredients. Then we have butylene glycol enhances the texture of the skin, a very safe ingredient, even as a food additive. Don't eat your science serum, but it's a very safe ingredient. And then we have the preservative uh, phenoxyethanol. So that's, that's your list of ingredients. There's, there's no filler in here. There's, there's, all of these have a purpose. So 
One thing I noticed in terms of someone that might use this with dry skin versus oily skin, I'm on the dry skin side of the fence. I'm pretty normal this time of year in the summertime, but generally dry. Oily skin, they say this is good for all skin types. Now, the primary moisturizing ingredients in this product are humectants. And if you have oily skin, that's a, a good thing. You might not want occlusives or emollients in there because they can cause trouble with, if you have any issues with clogging pores or producing more oil. So this is primarily humectant based. Now, if you are a dry skinned person, you might need more hydration. This is not meant to be your be all end all of your skincare. This is meant to be a treatment and then you continue on with the rest of your skincare. So if you have dry skin, I definitely recommend making sure that you finish off your skincare after this treatment with a moisturizer, preferably one that also has some emollients and occlusives in there. So you're talking like the uh, anything oils, squalane, uh, to give you that sort of smoothing and moisture replenishing and occlusives are like silicones, the things that help to bind the water in and keep it into your skin. So dry skin people follow up with a moisturizer, oily skin, you might not need to. That's what's in this stuff. So I'm also thinking that as a full face treatment, you may think, well, do I still need their other products? If you use tight eye or bright and tight, if you use tight lips or tight neck, do you still need them if you're going to use this? Now, one bottle of those lasts me months. So that's my more daily kind of treatment. There's a lot less product in here. These are weekly treatments. I'm going to say my impression, and I'm going to test this as we go, but my impression of the product based on what I see in the ingredients and how they recommend you apply it is that if you're not dealing with any heavy duty issues, like for me, I use my Bright and Tight primarily for lifting my droopy skin on my hooded lids, and it works really well for me. This isn't likely to be that powerful for the hardcore job of eye lifting. So in that case, I would say stick with your tight eye, stick with your bright and tight for your daily routine. The, this is going to be like a supplemental treatment for the rest of your face. If you're not dealing with any of that, if you only have dark circles, this does have some ingredients to help with that. So you might be able to replace your Bright and Tight, for example, if you don't have super dark circles and that's the only thing you're dealing with. Same with lips, neck, I would say keep your spot treatments in place if you are dealing with you know pretty significant issues that you're trying to fix and maintain. If I stop using my Bright and Tight for more than say 10 days, I will start drooping again. And if I'm only using this once a week, I use my Bright and Tight three to four days a week. I'm kind of in maintenance mode. I've been using Tight Eye and Bright and Tight for a couple years now. So I don't think once a week is gonna maintain that kind of level of lift that I want. So I'm gonna stick with my eye products and add this as a supplemental full face treatment for all the rest of my face that's not currently getting tight products slathered all over it. I'm so excited to put this on my face because I have wanted a product to slather all over my face for a very long time. So I've just got a cleansing wipe here. I'm just going to do a quick wash of my face. Typically I would not use a makeup wipe or a cleansing wipe for my, I don't wash my face this way, but I'm in front of the camera. I don't have a sink here. <laughs> So we will do it this way for the camera, but I would typically wash my face. Okay, here we go. So the instructions say to apply the product and leave it for 20 minutes. Within the first 10 minutes, you should experience pretty significant overall tightening. During this time, you want to minimize the movement of your face. Am I putting my hands up a lot? I feel like I'm putting my hands up a lot. So that means don't talk, don't do things that make you put forth facial expressions. Keep your face calm, motionless, quiet. Use this as, you know, catch up on your 
favorite book that you're reading or watch a little TV, catch up on some YouTube, whatever you like to do, sit back, relax, and just listen to birds chirp, whatever you like to do to chill out, spend your 20 minutes that way because you really don't want to be moving your face all over the place. Keep your face still. After 20 minutes, use lukewarm to cool water to wash it off. If you can use cool water, go that route because the heat of your skin activates the product to firm and tighten. Cool water is what's going to liquefy the product and make it easier to wash off. Speaking of washing it off, they do recommend that the easiest way to wash it off is in the shower. So I am probably going to take this off in the shower and not take it off on camera because I don't think I could get enough water on my face on camera to do this. So that is their general recommendation. I recommend sticking to the cooler side of the fence with the water because it will help liquefy the product back off. That 10 minutes while it is firming up and then the additional 10 minutes while the product is sort of absorbing into your skin, that's what's happening. The ingredients, once that smart gel, the, the key base of the serum, once that tightens up, your skin is absorbing the active ingredients during that time. By the time you wash the product off, all the actives have been absorbed into your skin. This isn't something you leave on all day. And it's also not gonna benefit you to leave it on any longer because once the actives have been absorbed, the gel is just sitting there waiting to be washed off. So don't bother leaving it on for two hours. Don't, don't do that. It's, it's not like some face masks leave them on longer, they do more benefit. Not the case. Let it completely dry. That's how you know you can take it off. Once it is completely dried and tightened, you can remove it. It'll be approximately 10 minutes to firm up and then another 10 minutes to absorb. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Are we ready? This is my first time trying this, so I'm going to scoop it out little bit by bit onto the little scooper thing. And here we go. It feels exactly like all of the other type products. They do say you can take it around the eye, but you don't want to take it to the inside of the eye and you want to avoid your lips and mouth. So stick to, stick to basically the skin and don't go too crazy with the mouth area. I'm also going to say you probably want to avoid your hairline. This stuff, if it's anything like their other products, and I think it will be, uh, if you get it in your hair, you're just gonna have a bad day trying to get it out. It's just sticky. So don't get it in your hair. It feels a little bit cool going on. It's just sort of a it's almost like take what you know of a silicone primer. There's no silicone in this, but think about a silicone primer and then make it sticky. <laughs> it's kind of what this feels like. It does feel a little bit cool. I don't know if there's an active cooling effect, but it does feel cool going on the skin. Make sure you get your fine lines or your chin line if you're like me. I'm going to plan to use this once a week, so I'm going to use the entire jar. You are meant to use the whole jar per treatment. So each one jar is one treatment. So if you were going to do this twice a week, if you plan to keep it up, you would need two boxes for a whole month. But the idea behind it is that four treatments is gonna get you some serious results. I will do a follow-up video four weeks from now after I have finished four treatments and we will compare the close-up photos that I just took with the close-up photos that I will take four weeks from now Probably don't really need much tightening on my nose, but 
I do get freckles and discoloration on my nose, so that's why I'm putting some on the schnoz. So I've basically done a quick pass, well, I missed this part, of most of my face. And I still have a little bit of gel left. So I'm gonna make sure I got my neck. Get my upper lip. Avoid your actual lips. Don't get it on your lips. I'm gonna get my Meredith Grey wrinkle. Now I'm just gonna try and even it out. There's a little bit left in here. I'm just gonna get around my eyes real good. Avoid going all the way up to your eyes if you get this in your eyelashes. Just like your hair, it's kind of a hot mess to get out. So just avoid that whole area. Do you see how it's starting to tighten up already? I'm starting to look weird like a, like a wrinkle face. Get those crow's feet. So as this tightens up, it is gonna look wrinkly. You're gonna start to just look like you're all wrinkly. Don't worry, that's normal. All right, I have not used quite all of the product. I've used almost all of it, but I have a good coating on my face here. It's already starting to tighten, I can feel it. And then you wanna just wash your paddle off. You are going to reuse this all four times, so don't throw your paddle away. It's gonna make a great little masking scoop when you're done with this product, so keep it. All right, I'm gonna wear this for 20 minutes. Let's see what the time is. It's 12.15 a.m. I will come back and show you what this looks like after 20 minutes before I go wash it off. Then I'll go wash it off and then we'll continue. I'll see you in about 20. I had to kick Ziva out of the chair. This is so weird. It is like putting tie-dye on your whole entire face. If I move my mouth more than this, it's all gonna crack. <laughs> mm. But you see how you look more wrinkly? Most of this is dry. Let me show you the time. It is 12.37, so it's been 22 minutes. There are a couple spots, especially up here, where I had more product applied that are still a little bit damp, this is all dry though. So what I'm gonna do is give it a few more minutes until the product is fully dried down. And I'm gonna try not to move my face, which is why I'm trying not to laugh. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, I'm gonna go wait a few more minutes, probably five more. Then I'm gonna take a quick shower, wash this off, and I'll be back. I can't smile, but I'm smiling with my eyes. Can you see it? <laughs> I'm back. It took about six more minutes for the gel to completely dry down. I'm in an air conditioned house right now. It's about 72 degrees. So if you are in a warmer temperature, it's going to dry down more quickly. If you are in a cooler temperature, it's going to take a little bit longer. It took me about 26 minutes. I then hopped in the shower, a cool shower. <laughs> rinsed everything off and I am happy to report two things. Number one, unlike most days of my life when I take a shower, normally I need to get a moisturizer on my skin as soon as possible because my face starts to feel tight and dry and I still have not applied moisturizer. I'm fresh out of the shower. It's been about 20 minutes and I have not put anything on my face and 
it makes sense if I think through it. There's a bunch of humectants in this product, which normally are not on my face when I'm in the shower. The shower provided a bunch of moisture and all of that moisture is now in my skin. Now, of course, like I said, if you are a dry skinned person, you're going to want to get a moisturizer on to keep all that moisture in your skin so that things stay nice and hydrated. But I am really amazed that I'm not feeling dry or tight or anything. The second thing that I am noticing very much is how smooth my skin feels. It feels like I just exfoliated, which that's really not what this is doing. But you know that feeling after you've done an exfoliation and you just feel like smooth? I'm petting myself. Yes, I've been petting myself ever since I got out of the shower. It feels lovely. <laughs> I did take a bunch of pictures, so Ooh, I could probably show you those. Let me put some of those in here. I'm gonna put the before and after one treatment. We'll see if what you can see in terms of difference. I don't know how much you will see with just one treatment, but what the heck, because I did take the pictures. I was taking them thinking about the video in four weeks, but let's take a look. What do you see? I feel like my pores are looking nice and minimized, especially the ones that are very obvious on my cheeks right here. My skin feels so smooth right now. It's soft, just soft and smooth. Like it feels really soft. I wish the rest of my body felt this way. Science serum, I need, I need to bathe in this. I don't know what Siva is doing behind me right now. Oh my goodness, I took her chair. She likes to sleep on my vanity. Will you be quiet please? Yeah, I'm, I'm filming right now. Please? Thank you. <sighs> Where was I? Anyway, so that is one treatment. I think this is awesome. I'm so glad they came out with a product that you can use on your whole face. I'm still waiting for the one that you can use on your whole body, but <laughs> this will do for now. I am going to use the whole four weeks. I'm going to do this once a week. I will report back with more close-up photos in four weeks. We will see how everything went. I will give you my updated thoughts on the product after using it for a month. And yeah, there you have it. Are you thinking about trying this? Are you one of those people that have wanted a tight eye for your whole face? <laughs> That's essentially what this is. Let me know in the comments down below. Have you tried Science Serum? What do you use? What do you like? What works for you? What doesn't? Let me know. Let's chat. And as always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over skincare with me this time. Come back every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern time for new videos. Check back in a month for an update on this one. I appreciate your time and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.